Friday, September 20th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. A cell phone video going viral this week begins with a law enforcer shouting and pointing his taser at the face of a father who was laying in the street with his wife and child, his hands behind his back. Neighbors immediately rushed out of their homes and watched in horror as the badged man violently attacked the family, ordered them to lay on the street, and pointed his taser at them. One neighbor who knew the man called the police of the neighboring town to report that this cop was in distress and needed some assistance. That prompted the cop to storm over to the man, take his cell phone, and throw it on the ground, while the man was still talking to the neighboring police. In a totalitarian police state, it's illegal to question in the actions of a law enforcer. Kudos to the people of this community who witnessed, documented, and spoke out against this government official's bad behavior. It's incumbent upon us who love peace to use peace as our way, and set an example for those who use violence to achieve their goals, like law enforcers. Watch the shocking video for yourself and share it with your friends. Link in the show notes. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. The Daily Chronic reports this week about the high cost of Philadelphia's, quote, freedom cage. The freedom cage is a series of metal bars encircling the area behind the First Amendment stone and beside the Liberty Bell. It's created and enforced by government agents of every stripe. National Park Enforcement, Transit Enforcement, Philadelphia Law Enforcement, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Enforcement, and even the Department of Homeland Security. The freedom cage cage is a visual reminder of both the metaphorical and literal cages that surround us. The rest of society is metaphorically caged as well, because they have to foot the bill for all this unnecessary enforcement, whether they agree with what the cops are doing or not. There are at least six government agencies billing overtime hours every smokedown prohibition. Just one of these agencies, the National Park Service, spent in excess of $21,000 for just a couple of hours of enforcement. In June. What are the other five agencies spending? And how long can all this escalation in spending and enforcement continue unabated? This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Game developer BigPoint offers online games that people can play for free, plus pay for any virtual goods and upgrades to help the player progress faster. The gaming company has over 330 million users. That's about the entire population of the USA. They now accept Bitcoin for for everything in their games, and the Bitcoin train keeps a rolling. In other news, a government school in California hired a private company to monitor the Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram of their 14,000 students, ages 11 to 18. Some of the language the company uses concerns parents, saying the surveillance will help school administrators, quote, better intervene in the lives of children and help them, quote, become productive citizens. The social media surveillance is only at one school district now, but the founder and CEO of the company expects expects to be monitoring about 3,000 schools worldwide by the end of this year. Mussolini, who knew a thing about fascism, defined it as the merger of government and corporate powers. Can surveillance of children by a private-public partnership then be correctly classified as fascist? Speaking of the badged class, a Connecticut judge was caught exposing his contempt for civil rights in front of at least three defense attorneys during a closed-door meeting this week. Connecticut Carey reports that Judge Brunetti said, quote, no one in this country should have guns, and that he, quote, never returns guns. This shows a clear disregard for the rules. But as we see here, the badged class can violate the rules whenever they want, without any consequences. It gives credence to the saying, when there are rulers, there are no rules. Peace News Now is on the next news network, and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send Send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.